Hi, this is Jason. Welcome back to Tuna Tech. Today, we're going to look at possibly the fastest Android phone on the market. All right, so I've covered this brand before, actually two or three of these models, but this time, They've outdone themselves. Today, we're going to unbox the Red Magic 7. Red Magic is produced by Nubia, and they've been doing these games, gaming phones, I should say, for a while. I've had the 5, the, I want to say the 5 Pro or 5S, the 6, the 6S, 6 Pro. They have an R. They have all kinds of versions. This is their latest and greatest. Um, what's cool about this, and this is going to get better every year, is... The box has some cool artwork on it. You know, it's comic book-esque, superhero-esque, you know, just like um, gaming, I guess. So we're gonna open it and look at it. But before I do that, I'd like to go over a few of the highlights that make this thing so spectacular, and then we'll show you what it looks like. So basically, this is a 5G phone. It was announced back in February. It's got a glass front and glass back and an aluminum frame. It's got a 500 hertz touch sensing screen, and it's got a built-in cooling fan, and that's their claim to fame, and it's RGB and it lights up if you get the supernova version, which is kind of translucent. Every phone for the last couple years, they've offered a translucent version, so you could see the insides and maybe the, the fan. Um, it's got an AMOLED screen. It's 6.8 inches, and it's 1080 by 2400, or HD+, plus, I think they call that. It's got a 387 PPI density, and it's covered with Corning Gorilla Glass 5. It's running Android 12 with Red Magic 5, the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, and the Adreno 730. That's good. And people always say that, hey, Apple's got the best stuff. I don't care about any of that stuff. The GPU on this new Gen uh, 8 Gen 1 is fantastic. Uh, interestingly enough, going back to the software, when I first started buying Red Magic phones, their software was left a little left a little to be desired there wasn't a whole lot of updates and there was a lot of simple errors but in the later iterations they've gotten better so it should be interesting to see what this new red magic 5.0 does for the phone and if they're going to change their stance on future software updates there's no memory card slot but it come with 128 or 8 gigs of ram 128 or 12 gigs of ram 256 gigabytes or 12 gigs of ram all the way up to 18 gigabytes of ram and I want to say 256 this is yeah this is 18 gigs of ram and 256 of storage 18 gigs of ram is probably overkill but also another bragging point for the cameras again this is a gaming phone first and foremost so it's not going to focus on the cameras too much and from what i've read so far the cameras on this are pretty this pretty much the same as the last few iterations 64 megapixel uh wide uh, 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro it does 8K at 30 frames, 4K at 60 frames, 10P, 1080p at 30, 60, or 120, or 240. The selfie camera is an 8 megapixel. It can only go up to 1080p, 30 frames. It's got stereo speakers, and it does have a headphone jack. And the rest of the stuff, uh, under, under the screen, uh, fingerprint reader, um, you know, uh, 4,500 milliamp hour battery that's not removable does up to 120 watts charging but that's only in china the international version goes up to 65 watts and i'm pretty sure that charger is included in the box samsung and apple and the colors are obsidian pulsar and supernova and it starts at 630 dollars usd so needless to say let's get this thing going all right so we're going to open it up here and as you can see where i went over it's got the red magic logo and some comic book pictures on the sides and the front. Top and bottom are just kind of bland. So what I'm gonna do is attempt to open this carefully with my little knife there. So we're gonna open this up. So this is the supernova version. This is the highest 18 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of memory, translucent back, RGB fan that you can see. And first and foremost, we got what's in this little box. And like most of these 
I want to say Chinese companies or you know they always include a Simtrag ejection tool, some books, and a basic case, which is awesome because you don't want to have to buy cases for some of these phones that are lesser known. But as you can see, there are some gaps in here for the RGB and internal stuff, and you can see there's some it's an interesting case, and it's kind of a soft plastic gel case. We got the phone, put that off to the side. And something that most companies fail to do because they're saving the environment. Um, this comes with a charger, which is a beast of a charger. I'm going to guess this is a 65 watt charger. Let me make sure on that. It is. This is a 65 watt charger. So it comes with a 65 watt charger in the box. And then a red gaming looking charging cable and that's pretty much it i know it doesn't seem like much but some of these unboxings recently have been pretty lame especially since they don't include much of anything inside anymore but all right guys so here it is this is the front of the device and i don't know if it's hard to see or not but this is your eight megapixel selfie camera and there's a grill up here for a speaker uh, on the bottom you've got your sim ejection and then your bottom firing speaker and USB type C. On this, you got your switcher that switches you into the gaming mode, which shuts down notifications, gives you options to run your fan, uh, high performance mode, uh, do not disturb, all kinds of stuff. This is a port for the air to either come in or go out with the fan and your volume rocker. On the top, there's your headphone jack and a microphone. On this side, there's the other vent for the fan. And I'm going to assume that is your power button right there. So as you can see on the back here, let me get the sticker off here so you guys can actually see this glorious thing here. Very interesting design. So you've got the 8 Gen 1, and it's kind of a translucent. Not as I don't think it's as translucent as last year's because it looks like it's kind of just like a backing underneath the glass. But you've got a very similar camera array as last year's, and there is your fan. So let's just power it on and see if it's got any juice here. It is all glass, so it's going to attract the fingerprints very quickly. And if I can get it set up real quick, I'll maybe see so you guys see what this little fan looks like when it's lit up. But let's uh, let it start up, and we'll go back and see what it's all about. All right, guys, back at it. I set it up. I turned it on real quick. Didn't install any apps. Just breeze through the setup real quick. And here is just a quick look at the screen. Top corner or up here, it'll tell you it's 90 hertz. I'm going to assume that when you go to the settings, you can change that to, you know, whatever you want. Uh, let's see, show screen fresh. So you can go all the way to 165. So it does have 165 hertz refresh rate. And it'll show at the top. That's where it's set at. That obviously will probably affect your battery life. So keep that in mind when you're using this. But as you can see, there are some interesting widgets on my screen. And this first one right here says game fan. So when you look at this game fan thing, it's just red or off. As soon as you click it, I don't know if you can hear the fan, but we'll turn it around and you see right there is the fan. It's RGB and it spins and it sucks air in one side and out the other. And a lot of testing people have done with this phone already, it shows it does significantly reduce the heat of the phone. And with all these new phones, not just Snapdragon phones, uh, heat dissipation is very important for gaming. But like I said, guys, this is a quick look at the Red Magic 7. Supernova edition. Uh, if you have any more questions, you want a full review, hit me up in the comments below. Thanks again.